Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my world. This is the world of Wayne. Today, as you can see, we've got the next four stages of the fan home release of Build Your Own Kit from Knight Rider. So we're doing stages 75 to 78. Now, I believe I have bought up, as you can see, the uh, frame that we've been working on and adding the doors. I'll talk about that in a second. I just want to talk about uh, stage 74. If you remember, I didn't open it. We had the engine bay for the car or the actual surround for it. I'm guessing we're going to be using that today and building onto that. Now, a lot of people that I've seen on the uh, social media channels and the Facebook group are saying that your doors aren't fitting properly and they're not shutting properly. As you can see, mine shut absolutely fine. We haven't actually put this section in yet that's actually gonna keep them clipped in. If you find your doors are springing open a little bit like that, um, what you need to do is actually loosen the hinge. If you over tighten the hinge, it's actually gonna act like a spring and pull your door out. So if you loosen the hinge, it should be able to sit nice and flush like that. I'm hoping that's helped some of you out who are having problems with your doors trying to uh, spring open. Uh, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description. You can get it all the way from pack one. I've got no idea what we're doing today, so we're going to learn that together. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here you go, here's stage 75, and I'll flick through the magazine, as you can see what we've got and oh look at this we were actually uh, working on the is that the bonnet we haven't seen the bonnet for a while i'm gonna have to dig this out i didn't actually get that ready today it looks like we're putting uh some of the hinges on the bonnet so uh by the end of it it's gonna look like that okay so uh i'm prepared for that let me go get the bonnet now, a couple of things you'll notice first off i haven't got my part work upgrades mat down because it's actually being washed so uh i have got the bonnet looking like this. Now, if you have got scuffs on your uh, bonnet, I don't know if you can see, I do have a little blemish there. Rather than use a cloth, just forget about it for now. When it comes to actually completing the vehicle, if you get yourself some Turtle Wax Color Magic, and I use black for uh, uh, this one, I did the same on my Dodge Charger, it will bring this up like a showroom finish. So, uh, I mean, it's not looking too bad at the moment, but that's what that's looking like. This is what we want to start with. So let's turn it over and let's get this uh, stage underway. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be taking this side here and I've got this detail, which is metal, with this end here facing towards me is just going to go over the two points just there like that. It's going to be held in with DM screws. Do I really need to tell you that I've dipped this in oil? <laughs> well, I have. So that's one and I'll just put the other one in here so the first piece we're going to be putting in is this piece like this we want this side here facing the outside the notch facing down and we want to put a cm screw just through the hole at the end now on the bonnet here we've got a couple of holes you've got one here one here and you've got one here we want the middle one just here for this long one to go in first i have already put this in oil so let's get that one in and you want it quite tight that it can hold itself up like that. Behind it, we've got this smaller one looking like that. Again, you want this side facing outwards. I've already put a CM screw in there. This is going to go into this point just at the back here. So again, line that up and get that into this back point here. And you want it in quite tight again so it can hold itself. And when they're in, they should look just like that. Now we want to take one of these shafts here. That is going to be going into the hole that we can see just at the side. So this is going to sit behind there and an OP screw is going to go into this side here. And there you go. That's that one in like that. Now we're going to take this side here with the R stamped on it. I'm going to take this piston shaft here and that's going to be going onto this back section just here held in with a CM screw. And there we go, that's that one in. So it's quite clever how this goes. If I just put these side bits up, we're gonna take the shaft and put this down in here like this. So it goes all the way in. There you go. And then I'm gonna actually attach these brackets that I've put on to the side of this section that I've just put in. 
Now they're going to be held in with CM screws. So I'll put this side in first. That's one. You can see it's looking good. And I'm just going to attach the other one here as well. Pretty hard to get your screw in there, but there we go. That's in. So as you can see, that now goes all the way down and all the way up. Perfect. Which means now we're working on the other side. This time it's going to be an SM screw for this section here, which this is going in here with an SM screw going in from this side. Quite an involved stage, this one, I have to say. Lots to do. This time we're going to be taking the left bracket and shaft. And that's going to be going in here, just like that. Once again, held in with a CM screw. And get that all the way in. Perfect. And then once again, having that this way round, put this into the shaft here. And line up the edge for this section just here. So once again, just line up these little tabs here on the side. Just like the other side there. Once again, held in with CM screws. So this is the back one. That's the short one going in. And then just the longer bracket here going at the back. And as you can see from the operation of that, that one's working perfect as well. Now we do have these two brackets and some screws left over, but that is the end of that stage. So stage 76 here, again this is the magazine, I do like having a flick through these magazines just so you can see exactly what we've got. Uh, wow, this side we've got the windscreen this time and we've also got the window wipers, so we're actually going to be putting the windscreen in the vehicle. Uh, and it looks like we are putting that now engine housing uh, frame on, we've got the brackets that we have from the last stage, got quite a lot to do in this stage. So by the end, it's looking just like that. Okay, the first thing they want us to do is to take off the bracket that we have behind here. I took that off ages ago, uh, which just stops this warping in transit. So I've already done that. We are now going to be putting the windscreen in though. So this is what it looks like in the case. Let's get this out. I'm going to try not to touch this. There's no protective stuff on this. I thought there might be, but there isn't. So put it in through the top and then lie it down just like that. You want to get your BP screws out here. Press down on that middle one there to stop the window falling out. Now I'm going to hold it upside down and put a BP screw just through the center here. Perfect, don't make it too tight. Do the same with the ones at each side here. So I've got one this side. Again, keep your finger behind just to give it some support. Because if you don't and you bring it down, there's a risk you could snap the uh, plastic there, which you don't want to do. And here's the last one just here. So that's all it is to keep that window in place. Quite a clever little uh, solution, that one. Let me just turn this back over again. Just so you can see on the side camera how that looks. I can put this whole thing to one side. And I'm now bringing up what we had in stage 74 was this? Yep, stage 74. And this is one solid chunk of metal. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, we got the brackets that we had last time, which are stamped, I believe. This one's L, and on the back of this one we've got an R. So if this is the way it's going, this is the left side, this is the right side. So I've got the left hand side, little bracket here. It's going to go into the holes that we can just see on the side. So this is going to go in just like that there. It's held in with LM screws. So that's in that side. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side here. And when they're in, they should look like that. Bringing over the car again now, we're going to be linking both of these sections together. So I'm just going to keep the wires in the inside. 
Got a wire here as well, you see. And it's actually going to connect through these side pieces here. So I'm just uh, gently maneuvering this in. So I'll put this side in first, which is just off camera, and they're held in with GM screws. You want to get these in as tight as you can get them. So that's one side. Just do the same on the other side. I'd love to tell you how easy that was to put on. <laughs> I'd love to. But I can't. That was really hard. Just putting this last screw in now. What I ended up having to do was using this uh, cloth that I got on the build yesterday and a clamp just to push this up so I can line up the holes. But now that is in as you can see. I'm just going to put this mat down again. Turn this over because I'm going to be putting two GM screws just into these points here as well. You will see two holes on each side here. It's the uh, bigger holes that are in the middle that we're actually attaching these to. In the outside holes here, we're going to be putting some AM screws, which are slightly smaller. All that's left to do then is put the windscreen wipers in. So you've got one with an end that looks like this. This is the wiper here, and that's just going to go onto this section. It is a D-shaped pattern, so it can only go in one way. So as you can see, that looks like that. Just do the same on the other one, which has this end. Now, the one with this end is going to be going into the hole here, which again is a little D-shaped pattern. Hopefully you can see that. And then the other one, again, D-shaped pattern just in the other side here. Push it down at this end. Don't push it at that end because you don't want to break that. But there we go. That's the windshield wipers in place. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So quite involved stages, those first two, but now we're on stage 77. This is the magazine. Keep turning. And as you can see here, it looks like we're doing the uh, first of the headlights. Check this out. Now these headlights are gonna be able to come up and down, I believe. So uh, we've got the wire to put in here. So I'm gonna to need to make sure we've got the wire together. Uh, I might have to go back and get that. Uh, and then we are actually mounting this as well. So that looks like that for the first headlight. So we need cable M, which looks like that. And at the end you've got, if I just put this out, a shorter lead, which has got an LED on, and a longer lead, which has got an LED on. The one we're gonna be working on is the shorter lead for this stage. And the first thing we wanna do is take this reflector, as you can see there's an L on this. This is what the reflector's looking like. Take the short side of this lead, I'm just gonna poke this in here, and get it in all the way. Because you don't want this falling out. So it should be able to hold itself like that. I've then got a lens which we're putting over the top. In the middle of it, you've got the words that say halogen. We want those to be facing upright. So it's going to be going in this way. Just push that in. That's now one complete unit. So what we want to do now is take this LED wire and just push it that way. So it's going towards this section here because it's going to go into this caddy here. So this little uh, lug that we've got there just line up with that hole on this side. So get this in. And there we go, I can see that through the other side there. That's held in with an OP screw. And I've got that here. Doing this nice and slow, just to make sure that's in. I'm then gonna be putting this bottom section on it, but we don't wanna trap the wire. And we're gonna see it coming out of these two points at the back here, which we're gonna to need to screw in. They're screwed in from each side here with TM screws. This is actually quite fiddly to do. So put one side in, I'm just gonna get the other side in now. I'm gonna put down my temporary mat in the absence of my part work upgrade mat because I need to now bring the car over and turn this upside down. Now I'm working on this side here, which is the left side. And this is just gonna be going into position on here, just like that there. It's gonna be held in with AM screws, two AM screws just into the end holes. 
and just one on this side here as well. And then using two LM screws, I'm just going to be putting this bracket here over the top to keep that wire in place. And this one here is two. So that's in place. As you can see, it's on a pivot now. So that can go up and down. I'm guessing eventually we'll have some sort of mechanical system just attached to that, which is going to fold them down and then make them come up again like that. But that is all there is to do in that stage. So I am going to keep the mat down because you've guessed it in stage 78. Here's the magazine, but we're going to be doing exactly the same thing, but with the right hand side. So again, creating the headlight, putting that into position with a bracket on. So by the end, it's looking like that. So I've got the other end of the LED here, which I'm going to need. And I'm going to want to put the LED in on the longer side this time, just like this. Again, put the lens on, making sure halogen is facing the right way up. So it's going to be this way. Push that in. Folding this LED wire up this way. This is then going to be going into this caddy. Like that there. Held in with OP screws. So one that side. And one on the other side here. Then once again, we're going to be taking this bracket here. That's going to go underneath the wire, held in with TM screws on both sides. And get that in nice and tight. Just like last time, bring the car over, turn it upside down. This is going to go in here like that, held in with AM screws just at the ends there. So that's the first one. And that's the second. And then using some LM screws, once again, we've just got this bracket here, which I'm going to put in. And tighten this up. That's going to keep that wire in place. And then just check that that goes up and down like that. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy up the whole mat area here. And I'm going to put this on the car so you can see how this looks. So there you go. That's how that's looking. On the car at the moment, as you can see, I've got the headlights. I'm not sure what we're doing with the wires yet. <laughs> I have to figure that one out. Uh, but the headlights are in. I said they go down and up, as you can see there, and the other side. So uh, let's leave them up for a second. I think what I'll do is I'll just position the bonnet on as well, so you can see what that looks like. Kind of like that. Not too bad, huh? And again, if these fold down, you can see how they look on that section there. Look, I'm putting fingerprints everywhere. But uh gives you an idea of how it's looking. Not many stages to go now, I guess. And there you go. That was fun, wasn't it? I can't believe that this is almost coming to an end. I mean, I don't know how many more packs we've got. Four packs, is it? Five packs? There's not a lot to go. But uh I really do hope you like that video. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link to the Fan Home website there. If you follow that link, it just says you've come from the World of Wayne channel. So that'd be really appreciative if you want to get this for yourself. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.